Hello my friends and subscribers. My name is Alexander Stepanov. Now you can see nails of woman and she's getting married. And you know, nails are the most important thing for the bride. Look at this bride. She is hiding her nails because she is not satisfied with the manicure. And you know, horrible, bulky manicure can ruin the wedding. And as you can see, she is unhappy. She looks sad on each photo. And I'm going to do my best to make the perfect wedding manicure for my client. And I don't want to be my client similar like that girl, that unhappy girl from the photo. But we have one problem. My client is waiting for the wedding and we have only 40 minutes. Well, actually, I was waiting for her for an hour and she was crying. She asked me to make her nails down because she doesn't want to look bad on her wedding and traffic jams in the city have ruined all her plans on the perfect hairstyle and amazing manicure. And when she has to choose between the manicure and the photo set between her wedding, she is definitely choosing the manicure. And everybody knows that this is the destiny of each bride. And now guys I'm showing you the tutorial how we can easily and quickly for 40 minutes make perfect wedding nails with the fast nail design. And as you can see on this video, I have already disinfected her fingers and her nails using rubbing alcohol. You can also use any other disinfectors. But the main thing, you should always remove the dirt and bacteria before you applying the manicure. And what about the dirt that you can see under her nails? Well, actually, I could follow two ways. The first way, I could cut her natural nails very deep to get close to the dirt and, and neatly clean her fingers with a wipe. The other way I could use the pusher and using that way I could dig in the dirt from underneath of the nail using this pusher. But I think this way it's, it's not safe because we can cut the skin and bacteria and the dirt can cause inflammation. So we decided to go this way. I tried to cover all nails from each side uh, with rubbing alcohol and we're doing these nails only for a couple of days. After that, after the ceremony, we will make an infill of these nails with removing all the dirt. And maybe we will choose the shorter and the more comfortable nail shape for that girl. Because I'm not sure that she is ready to live with such length of her nails. And the second thing, we should to hurry. And we don't have much time for cleaning her nail plate. And one more thing, I can say that no one nail salon agreed to take her as a client with such dirty nails. They say that at first girl, you should, you should get your hands better. And we will never touch such d dirty hands and fingers. And you know guys, I have already made videos about this person. And there were a lot of scandals in the comments about her appearance, her, her nails and hands. And even some people found her disease looking at, on her fingers and her nails. And I have already told that she's going to give a birth to a child. And guys, I just want to say that it seems like you are following her life because now she is going to be a bride. And you should know that Russian brides pay maximum attention on their appearance. And it's very profitable to work with such industry. I mean, industry that's connected with weddings. I mean, video, photo, makeup, nail styles are very popular as bedding service. And this industry, I mean industry of nail extensions, was started from the wedding service because it was only popular 
to make acrylic nails only for wedding. I mean not for day-to-day -day life. Nails were stay on only a week and after they were removed by brides with their fingers. And I know the story when one girl uh, put her nails into the door and cracked nail by nail when she was closing the door and opening it back. It was also popular in Russia to crack nets this way. And of course I can say guys that it's very dangerous. But people sometimes don't understand it and they use all things around to remove their gel or acrylic nails. So let's come back to other tutorial and as you can see I have applied uh, the manicure using the nippers. These are high quality nippers available in my store. You can order them right now only for $70 and also these scissors that I can use in this video too are available in my store. Don't hesitate to ask me for any help or any question that's connected with tools and products that I use in my videos. And as uh, a lot of my subscribers noticed in each of my video I work with the same tools and products. It's about 37 items of them. And I used to say that it's not necessary to have a lot of uh, numbers of products and tools. We don't need all of this. The small number of high quality products will help you to achieve the higher results than nail technicians large amount of products. And the power of your work is not building from the quantity of tools and products. This power is building from the day-to-day -day work and practice with a particular tool and product. For example, I feel these snippers and these scissors because I work with the same tool for 10 years. And I'm working with these drill bits for a long time. I don't remember when I start working with it. It was so long ago. And I feel each of this product perfectly, like a toothbrush. So it's easy for me, like cleaning my teeth before the sleep. And I used to work, for example, with the same flat brush when I'm drawing my one-stroke compositions. And it's still the same. A lot of years manufacturers produce the same brushes, the same drill bits and I'm not gonna to taste new things because I used to work with these amazing tools. I don't believe in miracles that someone has invented miracle gel that is very strong, that's easy to remove. I don't believe in such fables because I'm satisfied with products that I use and products that I sell in my store. And as you can see guys, if you are still watching my videos, I have the same list of products with the same prices and I never change it. Because if I want to change something in my work, I will improve my techniques. I will do something differently, but using the same tools. For example, I will file nails from the other way, from the other side, differently than before. But I will be using the same drill bits. Because dental workers, for example, follow the same technology and they also use the same tools. And as a result, I can say, my clients are very happy with the result. And they, my nails are staying on more than one, two months. They are strong, they have no breaking, no splits, no cracking and I'm not gonna to change anything because it helps me to make my work fast as you can see on this video. I can use these products for each client. No matter is it a difficult nail plate or not. And it influences on the nail plate the same way like a gel polish. I mean things that people say about the gel polish that it's safe for the nail plate. These things are not the true. Because these are the same polymers. When we are preparing nails we are lifting up particles on the nail plate. And th this way the nail plate becomes a little bit thinner. But this is n the not the big problem. 
because everybody knows that nails are growing and the thin area is going down and someday we will remove it with the scissors and when we are applying infill of uh, gel nails month by month it doesn't do any damage to the nail plate in case if you are applying safe manicure I mean guys you shouldn't file the nail plate too much when we are removing the dead skin and you shouldn't get very deep under the, the proximal pad because we can damage the matrix of the nail plate and after that the surface of the nail plate will be bumpy and I think that guys it's a very good thing that we have a chance now to get education watching videos because if you live too far from the educative centers but you want to learn this technique you can get education at home and train for example on your own hands and I have a lot of examples in my life I meet a lot of people nail technicians who got self-education watching YouTube videos most of that nail technicians became stars of nail industry and now we are coming back to other tutorial and as you can see I'm using now the barrel gel bead and I quickly remove the remaining gel from the nail plate I'm using the medium speed and neatly move uh, this barrel gel bead from right to left only this way and you should apply it very carefully and we are working nail by nail don't make too much pressure on the drill bit and be careful with this drill bit when we, you are working in the skin area well actually this this way we can quickly apply our work because if we uh, shape everything with uh, the file it would take much more time and we get tired of such shaping but you should also have the perfect dust collector if you use such technique because you can see that the dust are, are flying everywhere and in case when we are shaping with a file the dust are falling down and this way is more safe and to avoid over dusting my room I'm using the vacuum cleaner as you can see on the video it helps me to remove the dust from filing these nails and my client is keeping the tube of vacuum cleaner in her hands and she's trying to remove the stream of dust into the tube I don't think that this is the best idea to use the vacuum cleaner this way but if you don't have any other way and you should protect you and your client from the dust why not we can use the facilities and I have already made a video about built-in dust collector in my nail studio and you can make it by yourself but sometimes when I'm working at home I'm using the facilities like vacuum cleaner and after that I also cleaning my room with the water to remove the dust the remaining dust on the surface of furniture for example because for some people the dust of polymers can cause allergic reaction and of course we should use face mask and gloves a lot of subscribers ask me why don't I use uh, gloves when I do nails on my videos you know guys the problem is that sometimes bad channels on YouTube they stole my videos for their compilations and sometimes it's not easy to prove that this work is done by you because I don't make any copyright inscription and it's very easy to remove the sound from the video and place the music and I have only one way to prove that videos are mine this way is my hands and I think that my hands are exclusive because these are man's hands and of course I would like to use gloves in my videos even for aesthetic concerns but I have to show my fingers to prove the world that this work has applied by me 
And of course, guys, I want to give you advice to protect yourself from the dust. Protect your skin from cutting. Disinfect and sterilize all tools. Do everything for saving your health. And the result, the beautiful result of our work is not everything for us. And I open you the secret that now I'm working less than before. Because for the first reason I have to help my wife with children. And my brother now is working with all clients. And that's why I don't publish too much videos like before. And all the rest of the time I'm sitting at home. And I don't have any chance to make tutorials for you. But I'm trying to concentrate all experience and publish some unrealized tutorials from the past. And of course in future I will make a lot of fantastic tutorials for you. And now we're coming back to our wedding nails. And as you can see guys, I'm doing these nails a little bit differently. As you notice, I have applied the thick layer of the sculpting mix gel on the nail form and I have created the length of the nail. And I had only one layer. We cure it in an UV lamp about one minute and after that I have removed forms, removed the tacky layer. I have filed these nails using the barrel drill bead and after I shaped them and created the length and the shape of these nails. And now you see me covering these nails again with the sculpting mix gel. And maybe you can ask me, why do I do that? So I will try to explain. Let's come back to the sculpting nails and applying the first coat. We had small gaps between the length of the nail and the natural nail. And it wasn't easy to cover this gape with the sculpting mix gel. Because the gel is not thick and flexible like the acryl. So I decided to apply the first coat. After that was done, I have shaped that layer. And I worked a lot for preparing that coat for the following sculpting mix placing. And now, as you can see, I'm applying the last coat of the sculpting mix. But this time I am trying to make this coat the maximum neat and careful. Without putting the product on the skin. I'm trying to make uh, the perfect service with ideal blinks. So we will need only draw one stroke flowers and make the final top coat. And I think guys, this is the best and the perfect way when you need to make nails quickly. And we can call it the second way of sculpting nails using sculpting mix gel. When we are applying the first coat with the thick layer, cure this layer, shape it, and after that, we're applying the final coat with the same sculpting mix gel. But if you are the beginner and if you have some problems with applying the next coat, you can also shape, shape this coat. But using only the file, you, can, you shouldn't use any other tools like drill beads, barrel drill bead, for example, because you, you can make a lot of gaps into the product using the barrel drill bit because it's applying the hard filing, not the fine filing. So we are using the file when, when, when we need to correct some, uh, some little things, for example, remaining gel from the side walls. So I try to make this tutorial maximum detailed. And you can use the same tools and products and follow my way, create such the nail shape and the nail design like I do. I just can tell you some words about my client because uh, she now is already happy because she sees that her nails are already sculptured and we just need to draw quick decos, flowers. And she always trusts me because I feel her prefers, I know that 
He loves flowers on her nails. We have already dressed sakura, roses. And this time she will get married with branch of lilies. And he decided to draw lily flowers on her nails. But simple flowers without any decos. I think it will be the classic style. And I don't want these nails to pay too much attention. And I just want to ask you guys. You have already saw photos from the beginning of this video. Please tell me as women. What do you think? Is the bad manicure the real reason to be so sad on the ceremony? And why such the small detail can ruin the wedding? Is it because of stress? I think this day is created for all of us to be happy. And why we need to think of so many difficult things like exclusive appearance, photo shoots. We need to worry about a lot of details that surround us on this ceremony. And we forget about ourselves. And we don't think that someday we will remember this date. And we will not think about the manicure, any other things. We will just remember the condition of our soul in that wedding. But people now are spending a lot of money on this ceremony, a lot of time, and they want to prove someone something. They're trying to prove that their wedding is the most expensive. They're doing great, fantastic show to make this event unforgettable. But sometimes people forget that the small and not expensive ceremony or the church wedding can bring you more emotions living natural emotions than expensive show with the stars and perfect performance. <laughs> you know, I remember my wedding guys. We didn't have much time that time and we decided to spend all the money we had on the wedding trip and we didn't thought about guests. What could they drink on the party? For example, we didn't organize the party at all. We had a small church ceremony with all that things like wedding dress, flowers, etc. And in the same day, we went on the honeymoon and we decided to go to the Thailand. And we spent our honeymoon in the Koh Chang Island. Please tell me guys, what do you think about that idea? And have you ever been in Thailand? And what do you think of this nature? And what do you think about our idea to spend our honeymoon in that amazing place? And now I remember that the that, that days, it was something amazing, fabulous. We didn't think about anything. The manicure, cloth, styles, didn't matter. Only me and my bride. That was lovely days. And when I looking at photos from our wedding, I spent more time looking on photos that were made on honeymoon. Because that were our natural emotions and true love. So I think that each couple they built their own wedding style. And if you choose between the wedding party and the honeymoon, I think I would prefer the perfect honeymoon. And we're coming back again to other nail tutorial. And now you see me covering nails with the top coat. This is the final part of our work. This product will bring the shine to these nails and will protect these nails from breaking. You should feel the proportions when you are applying this coat because 
when it's too thick, uh, the gel can flow across the nail and you will not be satisfied with the result. And if the layer is too thin, uh, it causes gaps on the surface of this gel. It's better to apply the thin layer and after that we can add small drop on the top of the nail. Uh, you can apply this coat nail by nail and the other way for applying the top coat is applying this product on four nails and after that we reverse hand. This is needed to apply the alignment of your product and after we are placing hand in LED lamp or UV lamp we need only one minute to curve this coat and one that was done we are removing the tacky layer using the same rubbing alcohol you can also use the file to remove remaining gel and at the end we apply the coconut oil on the skin and now guys let's take a look that was before and we worked a lot for 40 minutes to make such amazing nail design and amazing nail extensions and she's the happiest person the happiest bride in the world because she is not late for her ceremony and she will not be sad on her wedding like the girl you saw in the beginning of this video don't forget to click that like button and subscribe if you like this story see you in the next videos